Intermarche, Rui Costa on a one year, I think, the Portuguese former world champ veteran from UAE. Everyone was like, what? What? <laughs> Why is Rui Costa? I think he's doing a Simon Clark. I think he's doing a prove it deal on a team that's got guys going well again, like Jan Hit, like Tarame, like Menkes, and then he can get a nice deal again if he keeps going. Or maybe it's his last year, he just wants to end on high. They signed three Staputa, what a name, from Hagen's Birmingham Axion, Rune Herregots, who's really good. No, I was going to say like Remco, but he's Aero guy won Andalusia breakaway. Anna Maritz, I think, is a sprinter from Sport Volander and Balmaza. Both of yep. them. Mattis Mikkels is one of these crop of Estonian. There's these Estonian under 23s juniors who are just like ridiculously good. He's one of them from Team Ampler. Tom Pacquo and Lawrence Rex from Bingle. I don't really know who they are. And you can tell me because he's Belgian. And Mike Turnison from Yambo Visma. But this show, as always, is brought to you by Zwift. Zwift Academy is back for 2022. Registration is open now. Whether you're aiming for a pro contract like Jay Vine or Neve Bradfrey, or are just looking to kickstart your fitness with some structured sessions, Zwift Academy will help you get fitter and have more fun on the bike. There are six workouts to complete, either solo or in-group workouts with baseline rides to compare your progress before and after Zwift Academy. Which of those... Do you like Benji? Which of them surprised you and which of them do you think are just kind of meh? When it comes to my first pick, it's Mike Turnis and I want to talk about him. He comes from Jumbo Visma, a team where he's fallen into a role where he's kind of on the brink of not being selected for the Cobble Classics is what I felt like when it comes to certain stages, certain races. And he honestly hasn't had the best year of his career. Let's be honest about it. I think that he's going to play a significant role at Antoine Marche, together with Binyam in the Cobble Classics. Agree. And in other races, perhaps as well, together with Binyam. I feel like we spoke about Mike Turnison and Olaf Koy, potential lead out there at Jumbo if he stayed. When he was leaving now, he might still play a lead out role for Binyam, but I think his biggest role is going to be Binyam needs support in the couple races or a leader next to him, a co-leader that can fold into a domestic role when necessary in the finals of couple stages. And I think Mike Turnison is the perfect rider to do so, has experience, can deliver that, and is still relatively young so that he can get a second win in his own career. Because two years ago, we were saying Mike Turnison is arguably becoming the new Merku after that Tour de France lead out on the Champs-Élysées. And then he had a pretty meh year in 2022 when it comes to the cobble season. So I think Mike Turnison is currently underrated. Definitely in Paris-Roubaix, 11th, 7th. And he was the only Yumbo Visma rider who made that Ineos crosswind split this year. Yeah. He's the only one awake. I think Turnison, <laughs> yeah, he's a good rider, but I think it, it didn't make sense for Yumbo to extend him. If they have like they can't they can't say yeah Mike you got a chance at Rupe with Wout Van Aert and the team like it's just not possible. Yeah. I mean maybe maybe they sh- they should have. Um, yeah, I'm like I'm in severe doubts of it. I would have said during the couple of season yeah he's not good enough not resign him but like going across the year now I feel like more and more that Mike Turnison might have become an underrated rider because of just one year where he wasn't coming out really at the level that they expected him to be. This guy won in Brussels, he won the yellow jersey in the Twitter front. That was not just out of the blue. He had a proper kick sprint there. He can perform that, showed that ability in the sprint when it comes to lead outs later on. That Paris-Roubaix result, pretty damn strong across the... across. The, I think Mike Turnison is going to do great at much and I think he's going to win a race next year. Yeah, I mean, he probably will, but it might be like that Leuven race on Wednesday. But no, I <laughs> like... on them Leuven. <laughs> is that what it was? All right. I think through Leuven is now called or something. I don't fucking know. The sight of Remco losing world champs. But yeah, I think Turnison, it, it makes, I think, more sense. It makes a lot of sense for Intermarché in both parties. Like opportunities for him and they need with Christoph out. 
like I think Turnison's a younger, maybe cheaper replacement for Christoph, yep. and they maybe 100%. see points galore from him. So I think it, it really makes sense for both. I like the signing. I'm, I'm really surprised Quickstep didn't sign Herrchotz or Marit. Like I yep. really am. Maybe I don't know how old Marit is, but definitely uh, no, not old. Rune Herrchotz. He's 23. Like I'm surprised. Usually the Balazs are nice off and go to quick step, but they're nice pickups. And Mickles, you just got to watch out for him. Like he is, these Estonian guys are really talented. And, and notice into my shame, Jan here, maybe career year, over 30, gone, out to quick step, didn't match it. Quinton Hermans, career year, gone. I know he's in his 20s. Christoph, oh, great year. Shelter Price. Tour and always stage, yeah, not no classic, but points galore. Gone. 